It's a fake arm that can save real lives. You're learning a life-saving skill, and you're almost doing a game at the same time to keep you interested. Todd Lazarus and his colleagues at the UCF Institute for Simulation and Training designed a lifelike arm that can help military medics learn how to properly stop bleeding with a tourniquet. And this is actually very difficult in real life. UCF worked with the Army's Research, Development, and Engineering Command and Kai Systems to design the arm on display at the nation's largest modeling and simulation conference. Wounds can be simulated at many points on the arm, and the red light that signifies blood turns green when the right amount of pressure is used on the tourniquet. Practicing how to get to medical emergencies in the field requires you to learn how to drive in all kinds of hazardous weather conditions, and UCF-based simulation research is also helping to achieve that goal. And I am slipping all over the road. Snow, heavy rain, even children dashing into the street are far too dangerous to practice on the road. In the simulator, you get the experience without the danger. We'll take their training manual and I will make scenarios and everything they have to do in their test that they do out on the field, we'll put it in the scenarios of things they can't do on a field. One benefit of the driving simulator and other projects is the detailed objective feedback that it can provide users. With the capability, the feedback capabilities the simulators can provide, it can become a very interactive kind of capability and provide you with lots of experience uh, in a very short amount of time. And do it in a cost-effective, safe way. For UCF Reports, this is Chad Bennett.